friends welcome back to my channel so you're getting a little butterscotch cameo because i forgot to film an intro for this video mm -hmm. so i figured i would just show butterscotch as i introduce the video so today we are doing a cream drugstore starter kit so a couple months ago i had put up a drugstore starter kit with powder products and i asked you guys if you wanted a cream version and you said yes so that is what we are doing here today before we get started don't forget to upload every tuesday thursday saturday and sunday for you guys hi little cutie if you like this video while you're watching it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out oh my gosh and other than that if you're excited and you want to see my drugstore starter kit with all cream products butterscotch will you say it with me then let's go ahead and get started <laughs> We probably don't technically have to start with the eyes today considering we are using a cream product and there's not going to be fallout on my face, but I'm just so used to doing my eyes first. So we're going to do it today. So I'm going to reach into my little bag of goodies. I don't know where the other uh, makeup bag is that I was using for my last drugstore starter kit videos a couple months ago. I cannot find it. So we're going to use this little black dirty tart one that's like seven years old instead. So reaching in here, we are going to pull out two products I'm actually going to use today. The first one, I think you can still get, I'm 99% sure you can still pick this up on Amazon. And it is the Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. I have the shade Golden Vibes. You guys, I've had this forever and look how much is left. Like I am not even close to finishing this baby up, but... I really love this cream eyeshadow. Again, I've had it forever, like years and years. Is it safe to use on my eyes? That might be questionable, that might be debatable, but I'm gonna use it anyways. Again, it's just a cream eyeshadow that you squeeze out onto your finger. You really do not need it that much, that's probably too much. So we're just going to put this on our eyes and I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. I really, really like this a lot because it is so easy. Like I just blend it out with my finger and it takes two seconds. You can blend it up into the crease and it just blends out to such a really beautiful, creamy, goldeny sort of little eyeshadow. Yeah, look how pretty. That's, and it's so easy. It takes like two seconds. I'm going to grab a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more for this eye and again, blend this out. I use this all the time for work because it looks like you did something with your eyes. Well, you technically did do something with your eyes, but I feel like it looks like you spent more time on your eyes and you did something more than just this right here, which is a cream eyeshadow that you're blending in your eyes in two seconds and it dries down like this isn't really tacky anymore so after a few seconds it does kind of like dry down and stay in place all day and it doesn't typically crease on me so i'm gonna try my best to find these i know you could find them on target's app or website a while back but i kind of feel like they might be gone from there too so i'm gonna go ahead and try to link these down below from amazon um if i cannot find them i'm so sorry that i just used it in this video so next up, I'm going to take this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and this is in the shade Ritz. Honestly, you could leave it here. You could. I think it's a nice, pretty eye look just right off the bat on its own. But I'm just going to, like, glam it up a little bit. Are these technically creams? I don't know. But to me, they are creamy. So we're going to go with that. I'm just going to swirl my finger around in it because it really is like a putty, creamy consistency. And we're just going to tap this on top, give it a little bit more of a va va a little bit more sparkle, oh yeah. I have not really been a super shock shadow kind of girl the last couple of years, but lately I bought a couple from Ulta and I'm like getting into them. They are beautiful and like such an easy way to amp up your eye look like I just did. And they like blend in so nicely and they're glittery and pretty and there's like zero fallout on this face. They just kind of stick down. You don't ever have to worry about fallout, which is so nice. And that's it for the eyes. How easy and simple was that? Just a cream eyeshadow, a super shock on top. It looks nice and pretty and impactful. It's definitely like a little bit more subdued. Well, I don't know, not really. It's pretty glittery from the super shock, but it's not like 20 eyeshadow colors, 20 eyeshadow shades. It took two seconds. And I'm telling you, these two paired together, these two on their own are beautiful, but paired together. I am really liking this. I've never done this combination before, but that's all for the eyes. Let's move on to this face. Reaching back into my bag of goodies, we're going to pull out the Catrice Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer. So I'm not entirely sure like what's going on with Catrice. I think they're like going away from a brick and mortar sort of model to where they're only having online stores, like their online website. You can only buy makeup online. I think that's the rumor going around. That's what I have heard. 
that's an interesting, I feel like, model to take for makeup. I'm sure they're saving a ton of money by not having to like ship their makeup to like 20 different places like Target and Ulta and all of that. And they're literally just shipping it to their customer that buys it off their website. So I'm sure they're saving a lot of money doing that. But that's just kind of an interesting business model, I feel like, for makeup because I feel like people want to go in store and swatch and see it in person to pick their correct shade. But I don't know, you know, I'm not on Catrice's team. I don't know their business decisions. But regardless of their business model, I am using this primer today. I actually really like this primer. It is super smoothing, like it says. Like, it's called Goodbye Pores. I think it does a good job of erasing these pores. Yeah, I definitely can see a difference in my skin. I definitely think that that gave me a little bit more smoother of a texture. This isn't really hydrating, though. So if you have dry skin or you need something more hydrating, I recommend their Prime & Fine aqua fresh hydro primer instead this is definitely like super super hydrating and lovely i like both of them just for very very different reasons but i just kind of wanted to mention this one in case you know you wanted to try a catrice primer and they are super super affordable but you needed a little bit more hydration than this one can give you next up for foundation we're going to go ahead and use my neutrogena flawless matte cc cream clear coverage <laughs> i have the shade shell 1.0 we're just going to squeeze a little bit out onto my hand So with like primer, foundation, concealer, that was all pretty standard, typical products. Like most of the time, those are going to be more cream products. It's really in the bronzer, blush, and highlight that I'm going to be getting into the creamy products. Just in case you were like, Emily, this looks like a normal get ready with me. Where's the cream products? <laughs> But I did just want to showcase and focus on some new products that I didn't use in that last get ready with me, which I can definitely have linked in the eye and down below for you. That way, if you wanted some more drugstore recommendations, I have multiple videos on it now. <laughs> this is a little bit dark for me. I can make it work out though, but I'm telling you, I really, really like this stuff a lot. I think it is really beautiful on the skin. It definitely provides enough coverage. It blends in nicely. It wears nicely. It's not drying. I'm like really, really impressed by this. Then for concealer, we're going to go ahead and use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. I have the shade C1. So we're just going to dab a little bit of this on the face, brighten it up, help this uh, foundation match me a little bit better since it is a tiny bit deep and dark. Cover up these bags. <laughs> I think that that is the lightest shade that Neutrogena foundation comes in, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, as you can see, it doesn't look that bad, especially once I get concealer on, like it's helping it blend in a little bit more. Alrighty, now for the real cream products to come in and shine. Next up, we're gonna do some bronzer. I actually have a couple items to use for bronzer. The first one is the Oma. I don't know if this is, I don't think this is a drugstore. Oma Beauty? Is this drugstore? I can't remember if this is considered drugstore, like on the drugstore side of Ulta or not. Maybe I shouldn't use this. Let me fix that. <laughs> okay, I think I am going to use this because I personally got this on sale and I know Oma is on sale a lot of the times and they did just come out with their like Oma by Sharon C. I think it is. They are drugstore line that is at Walmart, I believe. This is not from that line, but it's kind of like, I have to use the highlight on this side for like the highlight portion and all of that. So I am gonna go ahead and use it because you can get it on sale quite a bit of time. Like I've seen this on sale a lot. So I am gonna use this, but I also have the e.l.f. Uh, Putty Bronzer. This is in the shade, mm, feeling shady. So this is the more like cool tone contoury one. And then this is actually a little bit warmer. It is still a little bit more on the cool tone, but we're gonna like bronze with this and then just put a tiny bit of this to contour. I usually typically don't do that step, but I kind of just wanted to show you both of these products because I really do like both of them for a cream bronzer. I mean, both of them are pretty affordable if you get this on sale and then these are like $6. So I just wanted to like show off both, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and stripe a little bit of that bronzer on the back of my hand. We are going to use my e.l.f. Uh, like airbrush stipple brush, I believe. This is their 105 brush. I use this all the time for cream products. It's like my favorite brush to use. I have two of them. You'll see the other one in a few minutes for blush. And we're just going to start by stippling this on my face. I really love this shade. It definitely is more cool tone. I, If you were using these products and you were doing this makeup, I wouldn't like go in with this on top of it because this is pretty cool toned, but I don't know, I just, like I said, I really wanted to show you these baby hairs. Like I said, I really wanted to show you um, both products. 
This just blends in so nicely into your skin. Like it takes two seconds to tap in and it looks really effortless and natural. I really like this. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. All right, so I wiped off my brush a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and go into Feeling Shady. And we're just going to put a little bit back here just to really sculpt and define and contour the cheeks a little bit more. I feel like I can definitely see a difference. What do you guys think? I feel like this side does look a little bit more chiseled, a little bit thinner, which I'm here for. <laughs> okay, I like that. I'm gonna keep it just on the cheeks and not on the forehead since our forehead is pretty bronzed up already. But like I said, both of these are really beautiful products. This one is definitely like drugstore and is at Ulta and Target and all of you. I mean, you guys know Elf is definitely a drugstore. And they have another shade, which is a little bit warmer um tan lines i believe if you're around my skin tone they are they have like a total of like eight or ten shades um but this is a really great product i really like how it blends out easily it it can fade a tiny bit throughout the day if you're not careful um, and you do have to build it up quite a bit but i do really like both of the shades that i have in this and then this one like i said you can get on sale and it is just beautiful it blends out very effortlessly and i am digging both of these Alrighty, next up for blush, I have a couple options. I'm only gonna use one of them, but I just wanted to showcase a couple others to let you know about them. One of them is the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. These are amazing. I love these so stinking much. This is in the shade Melon, and this is in the shade Cinnamon. This is super bright. I don't think I'd wear this around this time of the year, but this one is a really beautiful, like, tawny, bronzy sort of shade, but still looks like a blush. I have used this in other videos, um, so I'm not gonna use these today, but I wanted to let you know about them because they are a stunning formula. Also, the Honest Beauty blushes, I know this is like a little higher end for drugstore, but they are available at Target. I have the shade Coral Peach. And if I can open, ow, oh my gosh, I just bent my nail back. What in the world? So this is the shade Coral Peach. Again, it's just like a really beautiful, like peachy shade. This probably would look really pretty on me today, but I'm going to go into something else. These are a little bit thicker of a cream, but they're still very nice on the skin. So those are just two options that I wanted to mention. But the one I'm going to go ahead and use today is the e.l.f. A Putty Blush. You guys, I bought this blush probably like two or three months ago and I have not used it yet. I haven't used it yet. So we're gonna finally use it today. This is in the shade Bora Bora, which is like a really bright pink shade. I'm kind of afraid to use it, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's going to be, ooh, is this, I'm gonna regret using this. Maybe not, nah, okay, that looks like a really pretty pinky shade. What I like typically use this uh, blush shade, like right now during the year, like the beginning of November, no, I wouldn't. But I wanted to showcase that e.l.f. also has pretty blushes. I'm sure you guys know about that, but I wanted to show that. And also, I haven't used this yet. So we're going to twirl my bl brush around. This is my other Sybil brush. I'm going to tap some off, and we're just going to go ahead and start applying this to the cheeks. I've heard good things about these putty blushes, and I, li I like the putty bronzer so much that I wanted to buy one and give it a go. Ooh, okay. That's pretty. It's not, like, super pigmented, which I'm glad about. I didn't want it to be too pigmented, especially this like bright pink shade, but it's like blending in nicely and stippling into my cheek. Hmm. I kind of like that. I think that's really pretty actually. I guess we'll have to wait and see how it wears, if it like fades throughout the day, because the bronzers do fade a little bit. So I'm wondering if the blush will as well, but so far I'm digging this. This is really pretty. All right, then for a highlight, we are going to flip this Oma Beauty stick on the other side because one side is a bronzer like we used earlier and the other side is a highlight. So I'm going to go in with this first, but then on top of it, I am going to tap a little bit of the ColourPop Super Shock uh, highlight in the shade Flexitarian. This is like super, super intense, like insanely intense. So I'm going to try to use like the tiniest little amount on top. Again, I don't know if this is technically a cream, but I feel like it is. It's definitely a creamy sort of product. This one is a little bit more subtle for sure, which I like. I'm just going to go ahead and actually tap it on with my finger. It just gives a really, really subtle, almost like natural highlight on your skin. I thought it might be a little bit too deep for me at first, but it's definitely not. Like it really just gives a beautiful glow. It almost makes your face look like it's wet, but in like a good way, <laughs> like a gl glossy way. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, my face is already pretty shiny because I haven't set anywhere. But I feel like this just makes it look, it like amps it up a little bit more. And then we're going to take the tiniest amount of this. And I'm going to like go like this on the back of my hand and then just lightly tap this on top. Oh yeah, that gives a pretty effect. It makes it a little bit more icy if you can see. 
but it's not like super intense or over the top, which like this, this can be super intense and over the top, I'm not gonna lie. But I like these two combined. Do you need two cream highlights like that? Like, do you need to use both of these? No, again, I just kind of wanted to showcase both. I know the uh, ColourPop one has been around for a while, like you guys all know about the Super Shop highlights, but again, this is a starter kit for someone who maybe isn't into makeup or wants to just try new products from the drugstore, anything like that. But oh yeah, that's really pretty. That combo is looking stunning. I know this is a cream drugstore starter kit, get ready with me. However, I can't not set some places on my face. So off camera, using my number seven Lift and Luminate finishing powder in the shade Light, this is what that looks like right here. I did go ahead and set under my eyes and in my T-zone in my smile lines because your girl just does not have the skin, the lines, the uh, just anything to not set it. So I did have to go ahead and set those areas of my face. Moving on now to brows. We're going to pull out the Milani Weekend Brow. I haven't used this on camera in a hot minute because I've been just trying to focus on using up other brow products. But since this is like a liquid, I feel like it would go better in the cream category than like a pencil would. So we're just going to take this, draw in hair like strokes and fill in these brows. If you saw my past October purchases, then you know I've had this thing for over a year. I cannot believe that it's still going strong but I still love it. And I love how it makes my eyebrows look. Then for setting my eyebrows, we're going to go ahead and use the Essence Lash Umbrella Gel Mascara. It's just a clear little jelly sort of product. Set these suckers down. Then to finish up my eyes before I go in with mascara, we're just gonna take a tiny bit more of this Almay Cream Shadow and run it along my lower lash line. Like I'm talking the tiniest little amount. I'm gonna look crazy doing this, but it's fine. <laughs> We're just going to run it along here, give the lower lash line a little bit of definition. There's not a huge difference between the two, but this definitely just has a little bit of definition. Like I said, a little bit of color, a little something, something. Then for mascara, we're gonna go in with my Essence Lash Princess. This is the False Lash Effect, the green one. This is not my favorite mascara. However, I have it open and I really don't have a ton of drugstore mascaras open. So we're going with this one. I've said this before in the past. I don't have a go-to drugstore mascara that I like love with my whole heart. So I'm like trying to slowly try some new ones out. And I know these Essence ones are super popular. I just don't, well, of course it looks good there. I was about to say, I just don't think it does much for my lashes, but that looks pretty right now. It looks like long and full, but I don't know. It's still not my favorite. Next up for lips, we're going to go into our bag of goodies and pull out a lip liner and a lip gloss. So we're going to first start off with the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and Definitely Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. I just, why? Why is that name so long? Um, we're going to go ahead and use the shade Sugar Glass. I haven't used this particular shade quite yet from NYX, but I have other shades of this lip liner and I love it. So we're going to go ahead and line the lips and completely fill it in. This lip liner shade is stunning. Holy moly. I love that. I like it because it's a nice nudie shade, but it's a little bit lighter. It still has that like brown sort of undertone, but it's not too deep and dark. I'm loving that. And then on top, we're going to top it with the ColourPop So Juicy. This is just their plumping lip gloss. It's the clear one. I've never used this either, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not a huge plumping gloss kind of fan, so I'm hoping it doesn't actually plump. It smells like minty, so it might, but I'm just gonna put it on with my finger because I don't wanna like contaminate the tube. <laughs> oh, this is a very thick gloss, holy moly. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that gloss. It's super, super thick and it's minty, so I kind of like it because it's like minty and a little tingly on my lips. I feel like this is definitely gonna be like a plumping, plumping gloss, which I typically do not enjoy. I can already feel it tingling my lips a little bit. I'm a baby when it comes to plumping stuff though, so like, this probably will not hurt anyone's lips, but myself, so we shall see. Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's not hurting, but it's like one of those things where I'm like, is it going to start hurting? You're like freaking yourself out. Anyways, last up for setting spray, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Jason Wu Magic Spell Setting Spray. You can find Jason Wu at Target. I did have a couple other like more 
drugstore-y kind of setting sprays. I have a Catrice one, but that is like a super glowy one, and I knew that I wasn't going to be setting a ton of my face, and like this is already super glowy, so I don't need it to be more glowy. And I do have a matte one from Wet n Wild, but the nozzle on that thing is like terrible and jets out and sprays at me so hardcore and I think I need to clean it. So we're just going to go with the Jason Wu one. <laughs> and that was it you guys. That was my cream drugstore starter kit. A whole bunch of cream goodies, bronzers, blush, highlight for you guys to check out from the drugstore. All of these are affordable and I really like how this look turned out. I think it looks really pretty. It's obviously very subtle, a little subdued. It's not crazy out there, but every once in a while, it's nice to have that more natural makeup sort of look. Again, you did not have to add the super shock on the eyes and it would be even more toned down, more natural. Um, but I'm actually, I'm really impressed by everything that I tried out here today. Most of them I have used before in the past, but I did try a couple of new goodies today and I liked pretty much everything. And I really do enjoy how my makeup turned out. Let me know down below, have you tried any of these products that I tried today? Also, as always, I feel like I say this in every drugstore video that I do, please leave me your favorite drugstore recommendations, your favorite drugstore products. I definitely tend to skew more high-end here on my channel and my makeup collection, which I'm fine with. I love high-end makeup, but I also really love drugstore makeup too. And I always need to know what the best drugstore makeup is out there. So definitely leave your favorites down below for me. Also be on the lookout for a more high-end version of this video on my channel in a couple of weeks so I can show you some high-end cream products that I'm loving as well. Other than that, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.